30. Hard kisses in the two previous frames, but come out perfect this time. 31. This is a match clinching chance now. Thirty-eight. Doherty knows that it's on the cards that he won't get back to the table. Thirty-nine. But he's thought that in a few frames, and he has. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Maybe two things that could go through the mind of Paul Hunter at the moment. One is there's a chance to win it here, and the other one is I'm going to win it here. Fifty-five. Sixty-two. Just this red and a black then. 63. And the In five minutes' time or less, that trophy could be in Paul Hunter's possession. The winning shot, barring a snooker. Seventy-one. Hunter played five brilliant frames in succession to go five-one up. Finishing off that sequence with a total clearance of 141. Paul Hunter, 76. And uh, although Ken Doherty comes out of his chair, Hunter knows in his heart that he's going to be champion for the second time. 76. Hunter's Failure to pot a simple black meant that he led only 5-3 rather than 6-2 at the interval. And Doherty has fought tenaciously this evening. Twice reducing his arrears to a single frame at 7-6 and 8-7. He still hasn't given up, but he needs an awful lot of snookers. Eight. Nine. This frame was not the frame 16. to lose the match. I think 
Doherty would have conceded it by now. 17. But miracles occasionally do happen in snooker. Twenty-four. And this particular miracle would be to win the frame from fifty-two behind and thirty-five on the tail. Doherty, twenty-four. There could be four penalty points coming here, but because the red is in the open, there's virtually no chance of leaving a free ball. Second reigning tournament in succession. Doherty is going to finish runner up. Beaten 10 1 in the UK final at York by Ronnie O'Sullivan. And it looked as if he was going to be heavily beaten today when he went 5 1 down. But uh, he's made Paul Hunter sweat for it, made him sweat for his second world ranking title. Having previously won this one in 1998. Wow. to seven to win the New York Welsh Open for the second time. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner, he's won £7,500 for that brilliant top break, £82,500 for winning the tournament, uh, a magnum of Lance and Champagne to celebrate his victory, the championship trophy and the title of Regal Welsh Champion 2002, Paul Hunter.